It is Saturday night, 610 Central. And I am putting out a real public service red alert here. This is way above my pay grade. It's way above anybody's pay grade. But I just report the facts, the intel, the information we get. The globalists want to stop the resurgence of nationalism. They want to stop the resurgence of people being involved in their governments. They want to stop the resurgence of free market. And they have been funding radical Islam. They've been funding communism. They've been funding Hollywood and the breakdown of the family. It's a full on attack. But that said, now that the economy's coming back, now that the whole Russia investigation has fall, fallen apart, now that there are criminal charges being prepared against Comey and McCabe and Lynch and Hillary, and, and, the, and now that all of that is all over the news, the globalists, the criminal multinational corporations that are bigger than governments, that think they're invincible, they are only doubling down. Now, I've got some great FBI and CIA and other sources. And some people say, oh, I thought the government's bad, Alex. You have government sources, they're all bad. No, we've had bad people in charge. I'm not anti-government. I'm anti-unconstitutional government. But the sources I've had for several decades have just gotten better and better over time. And the sources we've got have exposed what really happened at Vegas, how it was an Islamic gun deal gone bad, which has now come out, a Saudi Arabian civil war. Uh, they have exposed the fact that Trump was going to really win by a massive margin because Hillary was engaged in, in manipulation of the, of the election and of the polls. That's been proven. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of big issues we've been proven right on because we're doing our own research, plus we have really great sources. Now, my sources in the CIA, that's the biggest agency of 17 intelligence agencies, are patriots. They're military veterans that are in the CIA, they're, they're analysts. Many of them, you've heard their names on the show. Some you've never heard of. They've never steered me wrong. And they want our government to be back under the control of Congress and the states and the people. They're against the corruption in the bureaucracy, the CIA, the NSA. And they have laid out to me over and over and over again incredibly accurate things that turned out to be true. I had CIA sources on air and off air. Colonel Schaefer, six years ago, you name it, that said Obama's funding ISIS or Al-Qaeda then they're going to rebrand it as ISIS. They're funding the Arab Spring. Weapons were taken out of Benghazi to be shipped into Syria to break down the border with Europe and flood Europe with Muslims and cause a total breakdown of the EU, which would be used to call for an EU army to take total control when Eastern Europe revolted against the Islamic invasion. That is happening now. Now, my current source of many is not Colonel Schaefer who's public. I just use him as one patriot who has courage, who exposed our government ordering a stand down in 2000 and 2001 to kill Osama bin Laden. That's just one of the hundred plus people I talk to that are always on target. These are good people. I have been told by sources that the deep state, the criminal elements funded by the communist Chinese by the Iranians, by the EU, by the corrupt Vatican, uh, by radical Islamic groups out of Saudi Arabia, they are having their funding cut off. They're in full panic mode over Trump. And so they are activating, and this is the big news right now, giving you some background. They are activating sleeper cells, corporate sleeper cells, Islamic sleeper cells, uh, mentally ill people that have been wound up, you name it. In the next month, month and a half, June, July, late June, July. And these sources are so good, they've told me, watch Hawaii, we're dealing with major globalist funded Islamic groups. And then two weeks later, they bust people inside ISIS trying to blow up our 
anti-nuclear missile bases in Kauai. I mean, that's how good my sources are. And don't give me the actual classified information. They just say, look for this, look for that. And it's just over and over again on target. And again, that's why the media attacks us because the globalists are in control of mainstream media and some big corporations, but they can't buy all the military or all the intelligence operatives because they're patriots. And so they're pissed that they know we're just a conduit. We're just a window that sunlight comes through. I'm not that good of a person. I mean, I love God and love justice. I'm not a, but I mean, I'm not perfect. I'm not the hero. I'm just a window a media outlet where truth can get in to the people. I'm a place to get information out. And let me tell you, I used to get this information years ago, wouldn't run with it, because I didn't trust anything in government. I was a little bit naive that it was, you know, just one monolithic system. No, thank God it's not monolithic, top down, or we'd be screwed. There are people inside that know way more than I do, way more than you do, because they're in the inside. And they're just as articulate. You're like Zach that comes on the show. I know who he is, what he's done. He's famous in intelligence. His real name is Zach, first name. He, they know who he is, but he's, he doesn't want to use his full name yet because of some issues. And he's so articulate. He's better than I am on radio most of the time because he's real. He's a patriot. He's a veteran. That's what I'm telling you is I've been getting this information for several months about these massive terror attacks that are planned that they're going to blame on North Korea. They're not going to blame them on the Muslims. They're not going to blame it on the EU, the globalist Soros. But they want to derail Trump because here's the deal. And again, this is so sophisticated. I'm almost apologizing that I get all this data and I'm trying to explain it. And I'm, it, it's so sophisticated and there's so much that goes into it that it's really hard to even explain it. So just, so just bear with me because, again, I can't just tell you what's going on. I have to, like, give you the data because... If you get the data, then you see it yourself, and then, and then we can stop it. But I, I can't just tell you what's going on, or they'll change the attack. If you get the things they're doing and their main attack, then you'll know the possibilities they may pull. That's how we stop them. It's like Jesus didn't catch people fish. He taught them how to fish. Or at least that's what you should do, right? So here, here's what I'm trying to get at. The globalists know they're done. They know they've been defeated. They know humanity's waking up to human dignity, human justice, the free market ethos of the Renaissance. They don't know what to do. So they are then going to basically stage terror events in this country and other nations. They'll try to link back to North Korea and others to kill Trump doing a peace deal because they always nuclearized the Korean Peninsula. They gave Kim Jong-un's dad the reactors and the weapons. The Chinese were involved. It was part of a strategy of tension to keep the U.S. there, to keep menacing Japan, to have all this destabilization. Trump wants to end all that. He's pragmatic. He says, let's just do business. Let's stop this. And so they want to stage terror attacks in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, that will somehow then be connected to Kim Jong-un and Iran. And I'm not defending Iran, they're not perfect. I'm just saying that's the cutout to then derail everything and start a larger war. And here's the little piece of news I'm gonna give you. I've gotten this information from the State Department, high level. I've gotten this from in the top five people in the CIA. I've gotten this from the Justice Department. I've gotten this from my other academic sources. And when I started getting this a few months ago, I didn't just go with it, even though these sources are good, because I didn't want to scare people. But now I can see it all being lined up. I see the deep state being desperate. And the people giving me, the folks giving me this information are not God. They don't have all the answers either. They're just saying, Alex, why aren't you covering this? You need to be warning people that the terror attack's coming, not to give up your rights to some police state like Bush and Obama would do, staging it or letting Islamists attack, but so that people know if it comes, it's trying to derail global peace. 
with Russia and North Korea and China and everybody and say this whole globalist thing of destabilization and war is over. We'll still have weapons. We'll still have sovereignty, all the rest of it. But it's not going to be based on all this tension and the potential for nuclear war. And Trump pragmatically has been trying to stop that and upsetting this whole plan that was meant to create so many global crises, we would all accept global government as a way to solve it. So again, I'm a studied person. I do research. I, I live my life doing this, and I can't figure out all the angles because nobody can. But a lot of really smart people just want me to tell you to not make you fearful, but to make you empowered that the globalists are looking to stage massive terror attacks in the United States to start a war with North Korea and then Iran and Syria. Syria is the trigger for that. And that that's the pressure Trump's under right now and that I'm supposed to tell you that. And I think a big part of it is, so police are watching and the public's watching, like San Bernardino. You see a couple of Muslims that keep going to Pakistan and Saudi Arabia with machine guns and packages, loading them back to the cars and, you know, report it. We say false flag, it means government stands down. And Muslims are not my enemy either. The biggest threat to Muslims is radical Muslims. It's just that I won't get up here like the globalists with some fake terror report so you accept naked body scanners so Chertoff makes money or... You know, so you live in fear. I say, don't live in fear. Don't be afraid of terrorism. Be aware of how it's used to take your rights. And be aware that Kim Jong-un was told by sources outside of President Trump three months ago. They said, if you don't roll over and surrender, EMPs are going to be detonated. This is super secret, folks. I'm risking my life telling you this. EMPs are going to be detonated over New York, Los Angeles, Riyadh, and London. It'll cause hundreds of billions in damage, incredible societal riots, and out of that, a new war is going to be started with North Korea and then China, and then the West is going to nuke you. By the way, folks, you know how much I broke before it comes out in the news. Thousands of things. Risk your lives not listening to me. And so Kim Jong-un was basically told, because they already knew the peace deals were going, you better really roll over quick because the games are over. The globalists always wanted to use North Korea as the trigger for a South China Sea war that expanded, as Joel Skousen has exposed. And Trump meant to strike them in March. We're now into April. If he didn't roll over and they sent Pompeo in and he agreed to everything because he gets it. And it's not that Kim Jong-un's a good guy. He was always handled by the globalists. He was trained in Switzerland. His dad was. The globalists put the Chinese communist in that controlled Kim Jong-un's grandfather and his son, Kim Jong-il. And so the globalists want destabilization. They want war. They want crises. And out of that, they believe they get more power if there's a war. They'll live in bunkers for a year while there's a limited nuclear war. We're not going to have that. And Trump is about not having that and not doing that. And so no one understands all the calculus. I don't understand it either. And the fact that I don't sit here as some policy wonk and tell you just how this works and how that works, no one knows. I'm respected because I have a big audience that I grew organically. They respect you. And there are patriots in government that don't want to have a nuclear war. And they also want to fix things peacefully if, if, if it can be done. It doesn't mean I even have all the answers here. It's just, in the last month, I've gotten a lot of calls and personal visits. And people are like, why aren't you telling people about the plan? And I got it from all sorts of people. You know, like, it was very direct. And I just said... I can't go on air and say there's about to be EMP attacks over these major Western capitals to start World War III. But then I saw, but then I was told by the same people, Kim Jong-un has already agreed. He's going to announce he's agreed. Believe, and then he, everything they told me happened. We had all that exclusive like over a month ago, remember? So I'm just telling you, it doesn't mean my sources are running everything. It doesn't mean they have all the answers. It means they're on the inside of what Trump's trying to do. He's telling North Korea, South Korea is the most 
prosperous country in the world per capita. They got a GDP a hundred and something times bigger than yours. Just stop it. And give up your nukes and we'll bring in business. And, and the globalists don't want that. And so they're going to try to use and embarrass Trump. Here's the, here's the key. As he goes into this deal, and as he meets with Kim Jong-un the next month, they're planning to stage terror attacks and maybe even EMP attacks to embarrass this whole thing and then go, oh, look, Trump did this and it caused all this. And so I'm here telling you that's the current globalist plan. And how about Hollywood and the corrupt pedophile Vatican and the globalists, how about they go away? Why do you think I'm being attacked on every TV station, every radio station, every major magazine every day? Because they know, folks, I'm crazy enough to tell you what patriots in the real deep state against the big deep state. There's a deep, deep state that's America that founded the country. It's the original deep state. People that have honor and wisdom and courage and aren't pieces of crap. Then there's the big deep state, all the sellouts, all the cowards. Then there's the public. And our weakness and not being aware of this is, is, is what empowers us. So I've done my best trying to break this down because it doesn't even mean I understand it all. You understand that? I'm not like up here saying, it's exactly like this and I've got all the damn answers. I'm telling you what the best minds are telling me. And they say, schools getting blown up, churches getting blown up, universities, government buildings. That's just the beginning. Mass shootings, the Antifa all wound up and ready, rolling out, shooting cops to make cops get intimidated and go into a bivouac you know, hidden position, fortress position. So then the globals can come and say, oh, work with us, we'll, we'll protect you. I mean, and, and then EMP attacks. And I mean, it's on, folks. You see the patriots in deep state warning you about the EMP because it won't be North Korea. That's what they hold over us with just a few satellite weapons with the globalist is, you try to leave the new world order, we'll blow the electricity out and everybody will starve. So we're being held hostage and they're going to blame North Korea for it. And that's basically the analysis. I got four children. I love them. I, I care about you too. We're all in this together, man, no matter what color you are, where you came from. So this is one of the most important transmissions I've ever put out. We can debate what's going on here. I'll be back tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. Lord willing to talk about it. But if I've been doing this for over a month. Months, people said, please put this out. And then, and then, and, and just the... But I asked a couple of people a few days ago, I said, why me? I don't think you're trying to set me up. You've given me great intel before. Why me? And they go, Alex, everything's polarized. And everything's mainstream or it's alternative and no one believes anything. You're able to punch through and get the warnings. The military listens. The intelligence agencies listen. Because they, they, you know, the, the, you know, they know you're a real conduit. You're trying to be real. You're trying to tell the truth. This message has to go out because it has to even go to the president who's aware of it. But it's, it's, we've got to get the group brain working on this. We've got to get everyone talking about this to understand that Trump's trying to bring in real peace and real prosperity. And there's evil forces that want to stop it. And it's just total red alert right now. Total red alert. And, and, I, and I get what he did in Syria, even though I, now I know the Russians were told and it was to get the globalist off his back and all the rest of it. Uh, uh, so Trump, I know, is way, way you know, out there from what I'm doing. I'm not even sure what's going on right at this point. I just know, let me tell you something. I talked to one of the top five people in the CIA repeatedly. I mean, and I've had other sources go, why aren't you doing this? The, the, you know, the director of this is asking why you're not covering it. You know, I mean, it, it's to that point. And I'm like, I don't want to be part of some PSYOP, but I know it's not a PSYOP. This is the good guys. This is the good guys and, and against the bad guys. It's, it's all compartmentalized. And, and so, and that's why I realized I'm being attacked and demonized so bad because they know we've got 10 million viewers and listeners a day. They know this gets echoed everywhere. They know we've got the zeitgeist because of you, the listeners, and our guests, not me. So what do you think's going on? I'm just telling you, I don't sit there and say, oh, a terror attack's coming. Oh, I'm worried. Oh, a fall. You know, this is real. And you can see that the whole globalist system's in trouble and their whole constellation of control's in trouble, and they don't know what to do. Infowars.com, Newswars.com. Criminal indictments of the uh, you know whole Clinton crime machines coming. It's all being announced in Congress. It's all happening, and they're going to strike back. So ask yourselves, how will they strike back? They're not going to strike back as Hillary and Obama and Soros. They're going to say while Trump's trying to make peace, 
that it's North Korea. How obvious. I, I, see, I didn't see that. I think I'm smart. Other people are smarter than me. And, 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 and so, dude, doesn't that make sense? Like, what, uh, mm -hmm. he's behind the camera. We're putting new lights in here at the studio. But you, then you see it. Oh, my God, they don't want this happening. And it's absolutely true. So what do we do? We're aware of it so that we let them know we're aware of it so they don't do it. Well, and I think people... You talk people, about people don't realize the reason this stuff comes out is because these people have children and families too. So they're going, if I don't say anything, because I can't get the word out. I don't have the conduit that Alex has. So if I can get it to Alex and Alex can get it out there, well, maybe that'll stop something that's in motion already. Because we've stopped a lot of things. We've, Believe me, we've stopped a lot of things here. Uh, and others have come and stopped things that were in motion towards us too. So it's all a synergistic working on that's that's going on right now. And of people that don't want to freaking die. Exactly. It's, we have self-preservation. That's probably what we're guilty of, self-preservation. We don't want to die, so we're putting these warnings out so people, um, you know, so people can go out there and be their own eyes and ears and be boots on the ground as well. But you're aware of what it could be, so you're out looking for things like that, things that look out of the ordinary. Well, you heard what I just did for 20 minutes. What, what do you think we're getting from these sources? Because these are real sources of inaccurate. They're, they're just saying, hey, look out. They're going to set Trump up. They don't want this deal to happen with North Korea. Well, and I can see... Because they don't want this deal to happen. That, and that's all... And North Korea, all they've ever wanted is to have a, a deal with South Korea. They've only... They, we've been at this armistice. It's not even a peace. And you know, it doesn't never mean had they're peace. good. They've no. left evil in power by giving it nothing. Right. But the reason we, the reason, uh, you know, North Korea, they want to derail North Korea is because this is a big, this keeps everything heated, keeps arm cells flowing. That's what it's all about at the end of the day, keeping arm cells flowing. Thank you, man. Yeah. And so what they've done is they see Trump doing an end around going, oh, I can make this happen. All these guys really want is a peace deal. So I'm going to make it happen. Uh, gets Pompeo in there. They start talking. The Koreans are listening. Uh, North Korea and South Korea are talking. And that's all they want to do. The, the North Koreans and South Koreans just want to live in peace. They share a big border. Uh, China would rather see this too. They don't want to see this guy off in cuckoo land doing his thing, uh, you know, making more nukes and, and threatening people and doing all these missile exercises. He's doing that to kind of tell people, hey, I'm here. I'm a big baby. You need to talk to me. Pay attention to me. So now we've paid attention to him. But there's plenty of people that don't want this deal to happen. This deal with North Korea could have happened with any of the past presidents. They just didn't want it to happen because that's not the agenda. The agenda is not to have peace with North Korea. It's to have something there. The same with Iran. I don't think the Iranian people want to attack us. It's, very, it's a very small movement in the government. And, but we keep prodding outside sources into them. The Israelis are doing their own thing to keep a, a hornet's nest going in there. But when now we've got Saudi Arabia starting to turn, we'll see if they do, if, they, if they're able to make the changes. But the big deal is if they can derail this North Korea plan, it's a real slap in the face to Trump and what he's trying to do. So that's where, that's where it's at right now. If they, if they are able to stop this peace process, then they can turn it back onto Trump and go, oh, now we need a war. And it's like he wanted to pull out of Syria. And they go, oh, now they've launched chemical weapons. We got to do something. So they keep playing these, they know the, the strings to pull with Trump and to get him to react. But he's also smart enough not to go all the way in, to just do enough to keep him off his back. So we'll see how it all turns out. Now, Absolutely. And you know, I saw a commenter saying, oh, worship Trump every day, every week. I don't worship Trump. The economy's turned around. The jobs are turning around. The sovereignty's turning around. The globalists, the big evil people we know are bad are against Trump. It doesn't mean I support Trump totally. But here's the deal. They've artificially kept North Korea there to destabilize things. China is out of control, and Trump's trying to say no. And, you know, it turns out that uh, Mattis has been trying to stop a, a larger war. This is the real world we're living in. You know, I saw a Bill Maher clip today. It's up on Infowars.com. Where What's the name of the professor that says there's two genders? Uh, Peterson? Jordan Peterson? Jordan Peterson. Total yeah. kook. Yeah. There's 5,000 genders. <laughs> Jordan Peterson. <laughs> The point is, Jordan Peterson, it's like avant-garde for that show to even go, oh, yeah, you're right, there are two genders, I'm liberal. This is the mental illness we live in. This is the total joke where we're debating whether there's two genders or not instead of nuclear war. 
And some of the commenters said, hey, Alex, hold it together. When I get information from the White House, I don't just say from the White House, my most important information is for my own research. That's what I really use as a validation. I'm like, oh, the White House, I talked to the White House or the CIA or whatever. These sources are so insider that I don't just trust them. But then I see what they say coming true over and over again. And the fact that they're planning big false flags in this country, and believe me, Vegas was a false flag. They knew the Muslims were gonna attack, Saudi civil war. We had the hostage rescue team information day one. That all came out. And they don't have all the answers. My sources don't have all the answers. Our American military and government agencies are mainly good people. They're politically controlled by bad folks that direct them, but they're good, some of the best people out there. And that's just a fact. The average person doesn't give a shit about anybody. Excuse that. And I'm very sad about that, but I've said a lot here in the last, what, 20, 30 minutes, but people better go back and listen to it and watch it because it's real. And I'm not even sure. Um, I consider an act all decisive and say, I know all the answers to what I've been told. I just know they've been accurate so far. They're patriots. They're fighting hard. Some of the folks I interview have died, been killed. People I've talked to on off air. I mean, they're trying to assassinate my character first, lying about me all over the media before they try to really do it. I need your prayers, but whatever happens, happens. I'm going to end this transmission because we're up here on Saturday night, putting new light system in the studio. We're working seven days a week against the globalist. So we appreciate you all. Uh, and so that's it for this live transmission. It's just that what will they do to derail the peace deal of North Korea, the denuclearization of the peninsula, the Korean peninsula? What will they do to stop Trump delivering the economy and everything else that's already happening? Well, you know, civil war, terror attacks, shootings at schools where the police stand down under orders in blue state areas. We point out they stand down at Sandy Hook or there. They go, oh, Jones says nobody died to change the subject. When you watch CNN, it's not just liberals that are out of control. It's corporate weaponized media against you and your family working against this country. But the good news is we're winning. They're going to fail. The bad news is they are reportedly the globalists getting ready. Major terror attacks to blame on multiple groups, domestic groups, you name it, North Korea, you name it, to derail any type of peace deals. And so all of us have to be vigilant. They're so scared of there's a staged terror attack, a shooting, whatever, that we'll interview students all saying, yeah, the police stood down or there were two shooters. They're just so scared of you. So don't think of InfoWars as the answer. Think of what you're doing as the answer. All right, that's it for this transmission. I want the guys to finish the rewiring. Let's show folks real quick. Yeah. We're putting in some new lower intensity lights because those old high power ones kill me and kill others. So the wires are hanging down. They're, they're rewiring the studio. See right there? Got the boxes of stuff. I mean, we're we're ragtag force. I'm up here with Rob and two other people. Rob's our news director. We try to hire outside companies. They take months to wire stuff. So we got a new studio. Uh, we're up here on Saturday night, folks. We love our families. That's why we're here. And all we're saying is this is a critical time in history. It's been pointed out by many historians that more happens in a few years than happens in the next hundred or the past hundred. And we're in that critical crossroads right now. And I don't think anybody disagrees with that fact. So... Big false flags coming, big terror attacks, derail stuff. Getting the word out may actually stop it, though. But whatever you do, stay frosty and watch your six. Infowars.com, prisonplanet.com, newswars.com. And Lord willing, I'll see you back tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. for the Sunday Transmission Live.